Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we'll be playing with my all-time favorite makeup. These are my babies, the things that I've just been loving. These past, like, honestly, few months, like, more than just this past the past month, I've been loving these. Um, and so, um, yeah, we're gonna have some fun, hang out, chill. I feel like, um, for me... Um, 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 this month I'm truly trying not to buy too much new makeup. Um, I honestly haven't bought any besides, I bought some Bucks and lip glosses, but that was at the end of the 21 Days of Beauty. And then so, um, um, I haven't bought anything else other than that. I did I get BoxyCharm. I am getting the BoxyCharm this month, but I feel like because I'm getting that, I'm almost restraining myself a little bit more. And so... I don't know, I'm trying to like, and, and I'm getting antsy waiting for my boxes, my, my Ipsy and my boxy charm, and so I'm to try to hold myself back from purchasing something that I know is going to take forever to ship anyway. I want to dip in, play with my favorites, and um, yeah, I thought this would be a great idea. So without further ado, I know that intro was really long. <laughs> Let's just get started. I'm just going to start with this. This isn't a favorite. This is the Awake Lip Beauty Lip Therapy Lip Mask. I got this um, as an add-on. And I like to just start with the lip balm always because my lips get chap chapped, chap chapped. Um, but I'm not obsessed with this. Once it's gone, I know it's like empty already, but once it's gone, whatever. It's very sticky, so I don't love it. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off with primer. And of course, I'm starting off with my two holy grails, my children, my favorite primers ever. The Maybelline Master Prime Um hydrate and smooth hydrating primer i never know what to call it and the wet and wild prime focus prime focus primer serum together guys unstoppable unstoppable this like thick lotion like primer is the best for um dry skin but it's not even i don't even want to say just for the winter because i feel like it's it's good all year round because it's like a lotion it's almost like a moisturizer but also has that tacky base for like foundation and stuff to go on top of it and make it last long it is perfect i've said this for weeks now if you guys didn't guess this i, I don't know i don't know who you are i don't know who you are if you didn't guess this you've never been here before how would i say that and then of course my tried and true the wet and wild prime focus primer serum this um i love this combination so now would i i love the maybelline one on its own this one on its own it's a little bit i need a little bit more i feel like especially in the winter months um i need just a little bit more hydration but a little bit more seeps into the skin hydration this kind of is beautiful and it's, it gives you a nice glow but it doesn't seep into the skin as much as the maybelline one and so the combination is amazing but this on its own um you might need something thicker underneath just to just a heads up but together unstoppable all right and then of course we're going in guess guess somebody guess somebody say it call it out <laughs> The Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I'm obsessed. I do have a lot of foundations that I love. Um, and I talk about, and I've talked about recently on my channel. But this one has just stuck through for the, since I bought it. And has totally been a favorite. Um, so I have the shade Amber Beige. This foundation is the perfect amount of dewy. That's not too much, but not not matte you know what i mean like some dewy foundations are just not dewy and they're like why do you even call yourself dewy this one is dewy but not anything that you're gonna hate you know um so oh my gosh a sponge this is a new purchase i, I okay well, i did purchase some brushes but i don't really count them in my inventory so, so i guess i should have told you guys this i bought this but i did buy the sponge um um a, like a week ago or whatever and i've used it i think i've used it twice and i'm truly in love already and this is a sonia kashuk sponge um which i kind of always sleep on her stuff because at the drugstore like it's right across from my elf section and i'm like okay like hello could you have made a worse call target but uh, um it, this was massive and i was like i want to try it so bad and so i pulled the trigger i did buy a brush too let me know if you guys want to see a video on like brushes or something like that i don't know I don't know, I feel like certain brush videos are stupid, like, just saying, like, my favorite brushes. I don't know, I feel like that, those videos are kind of dumb, but some people might enjoy them, or some people really, like, just are at a loss for brushes and don't know where to go, and I don't know. So let me know, but, um, or if you want me to just do, uh, a video on Sony Cash brushes in general, like, how I feel about them, whatever, but I, I've been in love with that sponge recently, just so you know. I'm just building it up a little bit more, because it was a little 
to light coverage for my liking today which is one thing again so good about this foundation medium it's like a i, I don't want to say medium it's like a heavier light coverage like it's between light and medium coverage to buildable so you can build it up to be a pretty good coverage where you can still see underneath it but it still looks like your foundation on you know all right concealer baby my like, stand is okay so my angle changed probably but my camera stand was being stupid but anyway so favorite concealer guys Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Creamy Concealer I'm going to use this and love this until the day it dies it is almost there it's running low um as I cake it on but I swear it's running low <laughs> um but it is so beautiful it is really just that naturally radiant creamy concealer and it's my favorite and if you have a dupe for it let your girl know because um i don't want to buy this full price <laughs> the real for full price and um i'd love a dupe but i feel like like i'm gonna miss it when it's out of my collection you know i feel like the sponge too is just so freaking easy and so fast um i like the i used for a while i used the uh real text real technique face and body sponge i believe it was called it was massive um and i love that um i love how quick it is and so this kind of reminds me of that but i feel like this is like a little bit softer a little bit more pillow like so i really enjoy it i feel like it's just so easy these videos always are so much faster when i'm talking about makeup i love because i know what i love about it it's sweet to the point i'm just like yes love it live by it said it a million times already you already know it's naturally radiant creamy and it's the best there you go <laughs> isn't a shame shade warm medium by the way powder powder you know i bet there's some people there's probably like a good five ten people who could guess every single one of these products right because i've been obsessed with them recently elf halo glow setting powder <laughs> Um, it is so amazing. It just keeps that glow in your skin without drying the life out of it, but with, but also without like kind of almost disappearing. Like, um, um, I feel like some powders kind of like if they claim to be glowy, they could um, just disappear and then not even be a powder at all. It kind of just does nothing to your skin. This one still holds your makeup in place, but it is still it still lets your glow and your shine and your um, all the dew that you just built. It still helps that peek through, and so I love it. I'm actually just going to set with the sponge in the spots that I normally would, and then we'll probably go in with a brush, I think. Okay, so next is bronzer, and bronzer is hard. I feel like, I don't feel like I'm at a loss for bronzer. I feel like, okay, I guess I have a lot of bronzers, but I feel like none of them have been my top, like, holy grail favorite obsessed i feel like i've been going between creams and uh, and regular powders a lot but i feel like the ones that like have been my favorite it's not like i don't know how to explain it like they, i love them they're my favorite they're tried and true they're they're holy grails but i feel like they're nothing special i guess i don't know i, I feel like i'm talking bad on my favorite products but i like they're nothing like ah it's like kind of just like yeah, these are my favorite, you know? So, I don't know. But this is the e.l.f. Um, uh, Aqua Infused Duo in the shade Bronze Pink Beige. I have talked about this on my channel before. I really do like it. Um, but again, I, it's, I feel like it's nothing, like, revolutionary. Maybe because I've talked about it so much on my channel before. Um, like, I feel like now it's nothing new. I'm trying to hit pan on this, guys. And I did for, like, a second. And then, like, I, it, since the product is so creamy, I kind of just pushed it back over and, like, even to back out. And, well, there's no pan anymore, so whatever see i like this cream because you can use it on top of powders under powders however you feel like it but i've been using this new tart um it looks disgusting because the packaging i mean the product is so um creamy that it gets everywhere but i mean i guess both of them but this one even more so but either way i've been using this and i feel like it doesn't look as good as this elf one or any other ones honestly that i've used on top of powders as it should i don't know as i'd want it to i guess like i guess for people who don't wear it on top of powders don't really care but like since i do i don't know i care a little bit i'm like oh, okay can you just look good i don't know <laughs> so it's been looking weird but um this is a good one tried and true tried and true my baby i want to hit pants so bad that will be the day that would be a day and then like another product that would wow okay can you open right 
Um, another product that I would like, I would jump for joy if I could hit pan on is this Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. Um, I always want to say the shade, but the shade is the freaking Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, Mara, so there's no shade. Um, I've been obsessed with this as well. Um, um, but again, it's like one of those things that, I don't know, like, it's not a new find, maybe, so I've had it for a couple years now, so I feel like, I don't know, I've talked about it enough. Maybe that's why I'm not super excited, but I love it, and I do want to hit pan on this as well. So, um hopefully that happens makeup already looks just so bomb and i'm so excited so excited <laughs> um okay for blush i was i really again i looked through my blushes it was kind of like bronzer where i was like i have all these ones that i love but nothing was revolutionary and then i looked at this baby and i was like this will forever be my baby forever be the best blushes ever omg i'm in love it's my favorite palette of life forever and ever will be amen <laughs> Um, so we're gonna dip in to the shade study sh um, uh, shade study sesh right here which is my favorite and then what I like to do is I like to apply this one um, this blush because it's like I don't want to say neutral but I guess it's kind of like a neutral bl br blush like it's not too warm not too like I don't know I feel like it can go in any direction with any look basically um, but I like like what I like to do is I like to like put it on whatever finish it off with my makeup and once I do my eye look then I like to go back and pick whatever color I feel like would fit more if I need a more um um peachy one or need more pinky one anything like that I'll add that on top so you could just leave it like this girl because it's beautiful um so for highlighter the one that I've been totally obsessed with which is so weird which is the Le Laura Geller uh, baked a lot of swirl in the shade ballerina um i've been like having that itching to use this all the time and when i use it i'm just like yes give it to me like a million times yes and um it almost got swallowed um um it almost got swallowed with this becca i bought the becca one after about the laura Geller one and so that my focus kind of went shifted to this one and i was like yes 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 and um i don't and i, I like i shouldn't have done that because this is just so beautiful um that it needs the glory <laughs> it needs the it needs attention itself and i kind of skip right over it and it makes me sad but i'm obsessed i love this um shade i don't know i love this formula too i like this big formula i feel like it's nothing too much but it's still just like delicious obsessed and i do again i have another a lot of highlighters that i like this one has just been the standout but like, top top dog recently i feel like depending on my angle you first of all can either hear my chair or um the lighting goes dark like when i move my head so we're gonna try this one sorry about it um okay next is what let's do setting spray we'll spray at the end again but we'll do one right now this is the wet and wild um photo focus coconut prime three in one primer water i've been loving the I've also been loving the e.l.f. plus glow dewy mist. Either one is amazing. We'll probably, let's use this one first and then we'll use, no, 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 let's use, yeah, let's use e.l.f. first and then we'll use um, Wet n Wild. I feel like this is just uh, such a good powder because it literally does that. It really makes your skin glow and it gives you that dewy finish that like it doesn't just say that and not do it. It literally does it. So love that. All right, let's do brows real quick. Um, I'm just going to fast forward them. I'm going to be using the ColourPop Brow Boss, but this is not a favorite. I actually broke, my favorite was the uh, Wet n Wild um, Ultimate Micro Brow Pencil, but the tip broke and what's left in here, um, it's like falling out. So if I tip it over, the whole thing will come out. But what's left in here, I have to save for my full face Wet n Wild. So I can't use it, but we're just going to do brows. And um, yeah, I'm going to use this girl. I'm gonna use this one. Every single precise brow pencil I've used has broken on me and it makes me so mad. Like that's my biggest gripe with precise brow pencils. The benefit ones, the drugstore ones, the benefit ones, the high-end ones, the drugstore ones, they all break on me and it irritates my soul. I just do the benefit gimme brow in my brows as well. The, I have the shade 4.5. I've been liking that too. I just, in general, am not a brow gel person but have been using it, you know, because I need to get rid of it somehow. <laughs> All right, so the palettes that I've been obsessed with, and I've been obsessed with them, again, for months. I'm looking over it. I'm making sure. Yeah, for months, these palettes have just been speaking to my soul, and that's my ColourPop palettes. I've been obsessed with every single one of them. Okay, not so much the main squeeze, but I feel like that's just because it's red, um, and it has those pinkier tones to it, which I, I could probably dip into. I don't know if we'll dip into today, but um, I do sometimes, so I love the formula. love that palette, but the standout ones have been these three. I've been obsessed with the ColourPop Night Owl. You guys have known, I've talked about it for months, the ColourPop Blush Crush, Obsessed, and then the um, ColourPop Frozen Anna palette, uh, I'm in love. So, um, 
everyone needs to know it. Um, I think just for the sake of time, I'm just going to point to the shadow and like fast forward through it so that we're not here for a day and a half. Um, but yeah, I have been obsessed with these babies. I just clean my brushes. Yes, girl. I'm like thinking of all these things. I'm like, what should I do? What should I do? I just really want to take the shade Bird Brain, which is my absolute favorite, the shade right here. I just, I love it too much to not take it. Just so obsessed with all these palettes. I love being able to mix and match and dip and triple dip and whatever. And it really hurts my soul that you guys cannot get this Night Owl palette anymore. I'm sure Mercari has it, Poshmark, something like that. So if you're really interested, this shade is literally my favorite ever. You can see how big the dip is in it. Um, and this shade I love as well has a huge dip in it. And then um, in the Frozen 2 palette, this shade right here has a huge, huge dip in it. That one's hard to see. You can see it like that. And then this one, I think it's, yeah, this one up here. These two both have some wear and tear in them. Um, and then in this uh, blush crush, this is probably the least you can see. But you can see I've used this super, super shock shadow a bit. And then this, these three shades I've used quite a bit as well. And so really obsessed with all these palettes. Love them. Love the combination of them too. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so I'm going to quickly do some liner. My favorite, definitely the Cafe Fondi Tattoo Liner. I'm using it for a while, trying to use it up. She's still going strong. I think I haven't used it in a little bit, but um, um, yeah, we're going to use that. I'm thinking of placing an Ulta order and just simply buying like replacements, like this mascara. The I just used the Essence Lash Princess. It is so good. Like, I don't know if I could ever live without it. I don't know if I ever could live without it. And some of these other products too. Um, another one that I'm thinking that I'm, I'm going to use real quick, um, but I'm thinking of replacing is the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner in the shade um, because, duh. Literally, I literally am on the last little freaking leg. The tip broke off a bit, um, but um, um, but I just, I, I don't know if I could live without this. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. So I might just place it in good order and pick up some replacements that I've been trying to get. Um, or like of the products that I love, like another mascara, another lip liner or something. I don't know. I've been using it nonstop. It's my absolute favorite and you can tell because that's all that's left. Sheesh. I'm going to be so sad. Okay. Um, then, um, fav another favorite, the Milani Color Statement Lipstick in the shade 61. We're going to throw that on. This one isn't quite, um... Um, quite done yet if you will like it's not it's not worn enough that I need a replacement but once she's gone I'm getting another one and then I've been obsessed with I couldn't pick one gloss so I picked a top like three glosses I've been obsessed with of course the Revlon Super Lustrous in the shade um, 200 Crystal Clear I'm gonna put this one on because it's already dirty and I've already gotten so much product in it at this point I don't care anymore <laughs> but I've been obsessed it is the prettiest gloss ever and I went I'm gonna be doing a lip glossing ranking video soon but I have to wait some up for some other glosses to come in and me have more time to test them and stuff like that. But um, I kind of lined them up this morning just in my head. I was just kind of like, well, what is my order? And this was number one because it's my absolute favorite. And then these were close behind. The only reason why they're not top yet is just because I feel like part of me, every time I get a new product, it all it like becomes my favorite right away. So I have to like backtrack get myself um time to test it but these are the persona lip glosses i have the shade peach and toffee and they are both amazing obsessed i don't even want to swatch them because i don't want to waste them 
but I'll swatch them for you guys. Just for you guys. I probably like toffee more because I feel like I could wear toffee more often. Peach um, has, um, this is peach and this is toffee. Peach, you can see the peachy undertone. So of course, like it kind of has to go with that peachy vibe, like with your makeup and stuff like that. But toffee, I feel like you get, it's a little more universal. Um, and so I probably like that one a little bit more just for that reason, but they're both amazing. The formula is beautiful. They are, one thing I love about both of these glosses is that they're just not sticky. And oh, I just threw her across the floor. But um, is that they're not sticky. Um, I feel like my Fenty Gloss Bombs are sticky. And um, that was kind of the uniqueness in their form is that they were sticky but comfortable. And so people liked it. But I feel like now that I find something that's comfortable, not sticky, and still lasts a long time, I'm not going back, girl. Not going back. Um, then we're just going to finish off with the Coconut One Wild Photo Focus Coconut Primer Water. Mm, the smell of this one, I'm obsessed too. Obsessed. Both of these, so bomb. Both drugstore. If you're looking for a good, like, um, I feel like this one, so this one's a primer water, so you can use it if you want to use it as a primer as well as a setting spray. Um, go ahead. Go for it. I feel like this one does give more glow, this Wet n Wild one. Um, sorry, the e.l.f. one gives more glow, more luminosity, more dew. But this one is a good one if you're looking for something to, like, just bring life back into the face. Um, you can see I got a lot, a lot of life in the face, girl. A lot of life in this face. Um, okay, and so I'm looking at my blush and it, it works. So I think, but I think we're going to go in with this shade right here, L-Y-L-A-S, um, in this palette. Um, this also is freaking was limited edition, so I know it sucks. Um, maybe I'll do a video on like limited edition makeup that I love or like you should find. <laughs> like go find it on Ricard because it's like, it's amazing. Um, this is definitely number one. Um, but yeah, um, I I'll just add that shade just to bring a little bit more like, a little bit, a little bit more cohesive. I'm surprised you didn't hear this Um, so the devotional for today is a girl who covers over her sin is bound for a life of chaos and pain, and you know that's speaking right to me too. It's. Uh, it's it's about like admitting that you're wrong and you know, admitting that you're sinning and asking for forgiveness and it's not about what am I I'm getting lip gloss everywhere but it's not about hiding you know that hiding that sin and not being afraid of it you know admitting it and um you know going before God and saying God I did this I and I'm sorry so um yeah if you have any questions comments what is going on down here a whole lot if you have any questions, comments, concerns about the verse, you know what to do. Comment down below or DM me at makeup underscore marissa612. Um, thank you guys so much. We are growing each and every day and I'm so excited about it. I love like making YouTube videos and I'm so glad that more people are finding my channel. Everyone who comments and is like, you deserve so many more, so many more subscribers. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video talking about my favorites. You know, these are literally like, and, and it's like, I can't even... I can't even lie to you. These are literally my favorites. Like this, how deep this is. This is basically used up. I'm probably almost done with my Wet n Wild foundation because I've just been using it nonstop. I actually almost like look how big a dip is in this tart tart pan right here. Like this is a this is a fresh, not used one down here because I don't really use this shade. And look at how this one is. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Like this is not this is not false. This is not just a now thing. This is like these are my favorites. So. That's it for this video, guys. You can tell I don't want to end the video. I just want to keep talking about my favorites. <laughs> That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Subscribe, y'all. Subscribe.